Brave happens in Scotland. Scotland is very rich in all the shapes and the colors it has. It's dense, it's beautiful, it's magical. The art director wanted to see the real Scotland on the screen. He wanted to see the moss, the trees, the rocks, all this richness. And that was the main challenge for this movie, to get all this organic feel into the screen. We did all that by using mathematics. Most people think of mathematics as something boring and mechanical, but that's not the way we see mathematics at Pixar. For us, maths are a tool to create images, movement, richness, and fun, actually. A computer-generated movie, it's really a series of images, a lot of frames one after the other. And all these images are made of pixels. There is up to one or two million pixels per image. So each of these pixels is described by three different numbers, which specify the red, green, and blue colors for that pixel. So all colors in every single pixel are these three numbers. So for us to make a film, we have to direct almost 200 billion pixels. And that's a lot of mathematics. Go, go, go! One of the places where you really see the math in action in the movie, that's on the moss. When we first started designing the movie, we decided we would have a lot of moss everywhere. So we took a lot of reference images from Scotland and we started analyzing how the moss looks like. Look, look at that, look at that. How it grows on the rocks, on the trees, and we tried to recreate all that by using mathematics and numbers. So this is how it was done. We started with some very, very simple maths and formulas, which would create a very simple version of the moss. So the first thing we did was to cover everything in a very uniform moss. But because we really wanted to see a lot of variation on the moss, like color variation, variation on the shapes, we needed to have different lengths and thicknesses. So we realized we would have to drop more mathematics into the computer. For example, we have one formula which takes care of the thickness of the moss. We have another formula which takes care of the color another one for the bending. And the movement is also done with mathematics. And when you put them all together, it looks like a huge formula, a huge monster. However, none of the steps is really complex. Every one of these small formulas are very simple, actually. To make the Scottish forest, we didn't only need moss. We needed trees and bushes and flowers. We decided to take the same approach for all of them. So we went mathematics for all of them and we had mathematical trees, mathematical flowers, and formulas flowing everywhere. So basically we are using maths as a brush, as an artistic tool, and that's very cool, I think. 